So this is going to be kind of a hybrid video, not just necessarily in one category, but in a few categories, but we're just going to throw it over in the ideas uh, playlist because we're going to go over your ideas, then my thoughts, my ideas about a uh, hypothetical naturalist role in Red Dead Online. So where this whole thing started was it was reported by several content creators, including Hazard. I linked his video in the community tab. Feel free and check it out for all the information that has been gathered so far. The data miners like FunNW2 and others found a quote-unquote naturalist role, which could be a future role in Red Dead Online. So the question I wanted to ask all of you was, uh, well, do you think the idea of a potential Red Dead Online natural role is a good idea or a bad idea? And what all would you like to see or have included in that uh, particular role? And according to uh, all of you that voted, by the way, thanks to everybody that uh, voted, all 300 plus of you, 42% says yes to a potential naturalist role, 33% says no, and 24% say maybe. So we're going to first go over your comments on the community tab. Then we will move over to the Discord. All right, so let's start things off with JDR who says no, and that's fine. I should have mentioned that, and I meant to, but I couldn't go back and I couldn't edit it, so I, I should have also said no as well, giving you guys a chance to, to not just say yes or no. I wasn't trying to make it about one thing or the other. I apologize. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. Let's see, JDR, no, I want them to take more uh, Tarantino style with the next update, like Red Dead Redemption 1, you know. Fun. I'm getting sick of the sad intro music. The music can't, I mean, it's beautiful. I know what you're talking about, but it, it does feel very sad at times and you know, it can make you feel depressed about things. I see Bruno, and I'll see, not going to spend my precious gold bars on some stupid roll and waste my time collecting herbs, flowers, plants, and shit. I hope we don't have to collect shit. Ugh. I need some, I mean, we have gloves, but I don't want to have to literally pick up, you know, animal dung. <laughs> Let's see, Bagman. I love a Native American style roll with a very homemade weapons like spears, addition of war paint, time accurate tattoos, not shitty tribal tattoos. Well, Gooey, I think that they'll probably save a Wikipedia update for uh, a future update in itself, and hopefully uh, there'll be a lot of awesome Native American themed content, plus the return of the Wikipedia tribe, along with characters from Red Dead Redemption 2, like Eels Flies, Rain's Fall, Peta, Captain Monroe. It's something a lot of us would like to see. I see as, hello as, uh, see depends on the stuff. If it's more role play stuff, I'm all for it. Uh, if it's just collector 2.0, then we got a problem. Carlos, only if it brings serious climbing gears to go up huge trees, massive mountains with complex climbing tweaks and gameplay. Otherwise, just call it collector copy pasta. All right, so uh, D4, I want to see and play roles that are fun and add content, but I do not think this role would be much fun because a lot of people want to see a role that's full of action like bounty hunting, but that gives you more money and gold by having a low honor in the form of a bandit role or an outlaw role. If they uh, do this role, it will be off-brand collector role. Next is Darf Sean. No thanks. Redder want my character working at a rodeo show or stuff like that. Matty, more, more, more work to do. LOL. Let's see. Buckshot Assassin. It's a waste of time. There won't be any animal spawns to take pics of. <laughs> I think most of us sadly get that joke. He's probably right. Let's see. Destiny Foxy. An idea I have is that there's a character that you can buy a role from, obviously. Uh, see, they also give you a lab that is another property you can own, and you can actually own this time, like what uh, Professor Dragic, I guess, because he's like the scientist in story mode. And then when you get uh, done studying at that place, and you give what you study to that character, and then they sell it. I can see them eventually adding like Dragic as a uh, go-to character for a future role in the game. Maybe give you some like steampunk type technology. I don't know. We'll see, Destiny Foxy. Some interesting ideas there. Jerisauce. Hello, Jerisauce. Naturalist is basically Moonshiner. I don't see it becoming a role. Hopefully not. Yeah, and that's another thing that was mentioned uh, by Hazard in his video was how maybe they decided just to take the Naturalist role, whatever they made for it, and just merge it into the Moonshiner role because you do have to get herbs and plants and 
you know, there's a bit of that in order to make the recipes for the moonshine. So it's possible that the naturalist role may never actually happen, but it's still fun to talk about and see your thoughts and your ideas one way or the other. Atomic, I think would be great later down the road, but Rockstar decided to take it out due to it being too similar to other roles. Then we should wait a bit until they can uh, differentiate it a bit more. And it also could just be junk code. I mean, we found plenty of junk code in uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. Well, the data miners have. That never really led to anything. So it could just be uh, something they had in mind, but it just never worked out, or it's just something they have, uh, they're laying the groundwork for in uh, you know, a future update, maybe in the spring or the summer or somewhere else. I see, Karunzi, I might be wrong, but honestly, it feels like another version of the collector. Yeah, it would be basically, if hypothetically, this was legit. Take that with a grain of salt, by the way, until it's officially confirmed. But it would probably be the next step in the collector role, hypothetically. Just like uh, Moonshiner is the next step in the trader, right? You go from trader, Moonshiner, collector, to naturalist, and then maybe bounty hunter to lawman, something like that. Let's see, collect some jewelry, now collect some plants. Yeah, I think it's a step down if you look at it that way. Let's see, as for photographer possibility, well, it's different, but at the same time, Rockstar can fix animal spawns. This is a problem uh, older than Frontier's Pursuits. Yeah, there's a lot of problems that predate Frontier Pursuits and Moonshiners that we still have to endure. Uh, then we could absolutely, uh, you know, nothing to photograph. Yeah, exactly. That's the point so you uh, made a good, valid point about, like, What's the point of being sent out to take photos of animals in a naturalist role if there's no animals on the map to take photos of? So all that being said, I'm part of the group that doesn't like this idea very much. Okay, so moving on to, let's see, Yay Lad Painter. Wow, he's got a few ideas. So I do enough gathering with the collector already, so I don't want to be picking herbs for hours on top of that. However, I would love a much-discussed fishing piracy role and lesser extent a rancher farmer if they pulled it off well. However, my idea for the next update isn't even a, a roll update. Let's see, he wants a gunslinger update. We'll go ahead and entertain the idea. He took the time to write all this down, so we'll go ahead and read over it. Probably something most of you would prefer over a naturalist role, to be honest. A gunslinger update. Heist uh, would make uh, the use of the poncho dual mechanics explained below. It's too much of a stretch to have Landon Ricketts run them. And sadly, I don't think we're ever going to see Landon Ricketts because... As some of you know, the voice actor uh, Hagen uh, passed away in between Red Dead Redemption 1 and Red Dead Redemption 2. And we might see him if they ever do a remake of Red Dead Redemption 1, maybe, and just use the audio that they recorded from the first game in uh, a remake, which I would love to have as a story DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as a uh, Mexico expansion, but continuing. New weapons, uh, Pocket Derringer. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Let's see, uh, Smith & Wesson number 3 Revolver, Wild West Classic. They just added a new revolver, so I can see this happening. I think they will add more revolvers, but I feel like they should move on to something else, like another rifle, like you're about to say, the 1853 iconic uh, Frontier repeater right, rifle. Yeah, like a Winchester 1873. So, yeah, um, they're probably going to give revolvers a break, because we got the Lamar revolver, then we got the Navy revolver, so... I could see a Sharps 1853 or a Winchester 1873 or something else along those lines. I see a uh, Clint Eastwood style ponchos. Yeah, see, that's the poncho a lot of us want, you know, from, you know, the Man of No Name trilogy. That's that's what I want, at least. I see hat bands. They can be progression based and applied to basic hat types like my beloved stalker hat, Clint Eastwood replica. Yeah, exactly. I agree. So, I mean, I don't know if they're ever going to do that, but they'll probably continue to add more hat variations. So the ability to, let's see, hold the fire button to draw and go straight to dead eye like in single player, I know it would be less useful because it would slow down time. It wouldn't slow down time, but it would be damn cool. It would be great for dueling friends. Yeah, I, I would also like to see a dueling ability in the game, and that's something a lot of players have brought up as well. Let's see, new completely custom engravings for guns, especially revolvers. Remember the gunslinger guns in single player. You'd be able to do stuff like that, make inlay designs, add them to the uh, Jim Boy Callaway revolver, new materials such as the red leathery material on Micah's revolver, etc. With the new uh, menu similar to the Forza paint job creator, other players would be able to do that. See, that's a fantastic idea. That's something I would very much like to see in Reddit Online is the ability to have a like a creator where you could go in and make different like designs for you know your weapons, engravings, and whatnot. It's something I actually would have liked to have seen to some degree 
for like paint jobs or liveries for vehicles in uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. But maybe somewhere down the road, Rockstar will do something like that. But good ideas. Let's see, this would, of course, cost gold and a lot. But yeah, of course, it's going to cost gold. Rockstar wants to come up with excuses to force us to spend gold or for others to buy gold. <laughs> In conclusion, it wouldn't be another huge update like the Frontier Pursuits update, but it would, you know, add a heist. I think a heist update would be a big update. It would be a huge update. It's something a lot of us want, like the ability to rob like a, like a small bank or a big bank, both, you know, at the beginning, similar to the heist in Grand Theft Auto Online, as well as a train robbery, a riverboat robbery, maybe like a stagecoach a caravan robbery. That'd be awesome. Good suggestions. All right. So let's move on to Exploding Cupcake. I want to unlock an ability that lets me gather two plants from one source. I kind of think that might be a good idea for like if there's a hypothetical naturalist role. Where like if you were to, anytime you pick up say uh, a wild carrot, right? It would allow you to, to have add two of that item into your inventory. So that actually would be like a, an additional perk you would get as you would rank up the naturalist role. Whereas with the collector... Eventually, you're able to have your horse pick up the, uh, you know, the herb for you or the plants. Now, that's not a bad idea, Exploding Cupcake. Let's see, Wolf, uh, this could be a photographer role. Exactly, it would be, it would tie in the photography role that people want with the, you know, the naturalist role. It would just be part of the naturalist role. If it is, they could def they're definitely going to go all out to make this fun, not boring. Yeah, it's going to be hard to make that fun, though. I I'm going to save my thoughts until the end of the video. So, let's continue with your thoughts, guys. Let's see, Incognito, Pharaoh. I personally would like to see Rockstar fix all the bugs in the game. Yes, I agree entirely, Pharaoh. I think most of us are in agreement with you. They definitely need to sit down and figure out why the game is having the problems it's having. Servers, most likely. So that should come first. We need like a patch or something for them to fix these issues once and for all. Or most of the major issues, at least. But, yeah, I agree. Let's see. Aiden, let's see. Depends on what it would involve, although it did. if it did involve the Native American stuff, i definitely appreciate it. Yeah, like I said a moment ago, I, I think that there will be a Wapiti update somewhere down the road. It seems like a waste of space, and those are very interesting characters, and there's a lot Rockstar could do with a, a Wapiti-themed update. But a naturalist role would tie in very well with a Native American update. So that is a very good point, Aiden. Very good indeed. Let's see, Twitchy, let's see, I feel like it would be an extremely boring role, you know. I, I see how a lot of you feel that way. But I also believe that's not even a thing. Yeah, it's also could have been a role idea that they simply scrapped or they just kind of like took pieces from it and they just moved it in the collector and then they moved it into the Moonshiner role. That's, that's a possibility as well. Might have been at one time, but I think they ended up scrapping it. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of times they have ideas and there's coding in various like Grand Theft Auto Online and also now on Reddit Online. Thanks to PC, the data miners are able to more easily find this stuff. And it could have been just a scrapped roll or a roll they plan on using somewhere down the road. Let's see. Uh, James. Hello, James. Any role, in my opinion, would be good for the game. Yeah, the more roles, the better. More variety. And they don't all have to be like intense action like a, a lawman role or an outlaw role. But, you know, for this being the next role, I'm... Kind of on the fence. You know what? Like I said, let me say my thoughts. Let's continue with your thoughts, guys. Let's see, Max. Picking flowers in that game and taking wildlife photos would be one of the most boring and grindy roles ever. I'd like to see an expansion to the collector role where you have to infiltrate building, fort, cave, area similar to gang attacks to get a high-value archaeological item off of boss character. Besides that, I'd like to see a railroad protection role where you ride a train from point to point while protecting high-value cargo from people or bandits. If you haven't done so, I highly recommend the Free Roam Event Trade Route. I've been enjoying it a lot more lately, and it's great for all of you that are trying to rank up your uh, trader role, and it also helps with uh, getting you uh, goods for your uh, trader role. So it's very similar to what you're asking for. I realize you probably want something a lot more complex than Trade Route, but it, it's nice because you're, you're on a train with other players, and you're working together to fight off wave after wave, of enemy NPCs. It's actually fun. Just like Salvage. Unless it's the uh, Heartlands map. And screw that map. Let's see. Another role I'd like to see is a military role. Where you do missions for army soldiers. Perhaps uh, fight large gangs or battle natives. P.S. The gear for this uh, role would be awesome. 
Yeah, I think that they probably have ideas for roles that go in all sorts of different directions. And I think that there will, at the very least, will probably be like a lawman role somewhere where you end up being a U.S. Marshal. That'll probably be like an expansion of the bounty hunter role. Plus, imagine how cool those outfits will be. You'll have like white hats with like uh, dusters and badges. It'll be sweet. Jose. Hello, Jose. Let's see. Maybe as a naturalist, you could search for rare animals, such as legendary ones in story mode, collect evidence about them, give the information in exchange for a reward. It'd be kind of like a bounty system, but for information about animals, Rockstar could also add uh, uh, cryptids like those in the Undead Nightmare, so players with naturalist role could search for them, capture them, etc. Interesting thoughts, Jose. Very interesting. Terry, any new content is good. And I always love to see this from viewers and subscribers who are just happy like Terry or James just to have new stuff added to the game because we definitely are thirsty for more content in Red Dead Online and of course all the issues being fixed. And finally on the YouTube community tab, dreadful destruction, like Hazard said, taking pics of animals in certain poses. So yeah, I think that if there's a naturalist role, they'll probably implement uh, the camera and uh, you know the photography role that a lot of people are, are wanting to have as a future role in Red Dead Online. Once again, thanks to all of you on the YouTube community tab. There's a few suggestions, kind of, sort of, over here in our Discord room. Uh, Kane, hopefully we can do what Limbago Man did and tease John about. Uh, rock farming. It's a great role. And Destiny, I already read your comment. You copy pasted it on both uh, the community tab and the uh, room. So moving on, Tankishin Jr., just let me have a cat, damn it. Okay, you can have one of my cats. Here you go. Wait a minute, I promised that cat to Cormac. Sorry, Tank, I guess you don't get a cat at all. But in all seriousness, Tank, I too, as a uh, cat and dog owner, wouldn't mind having a uh, camp cat to go with my camp dog, or maybe in a future property, they'll allow us to have a pet cat just hang out in our house, right? Finally, we go to Nikolai. This is what he would like. A uh, collection of rare plants are starting a grow house out in the woods with shipments that are stronger than the moonshine bottles, literally and figuratively. So, I mean, a grower role isn't a bad idea. You could also implement uh, the plants in it, right? You would have to collect plants and whatnot in order to uh, be a grower, whether you're growing uh, like wild feverfew or wild carrots, mint, oregano, creeping thyme. It would be nice to have your own, like, uh, I guess, uh, greenhouse. And you could just put plant your own herbs inside that greenhouse. And anytime that happens to pop up as a daily, you could just go into the greenhouse and pick your ginseng. And that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Once again, everybody in the Discord room, as well as our YouTube community tab, thanks again for all your input. Even though a lot of you didn't really seem to uh, care for the idea of a potential naturalist role. Now let's get to my thoughts on it. So that's why I said it's kind of a hybrid video. Um, first part, your ideas, your thoughts, then my ideas, but we'll just call it an ideas video and just be done of it. And once again, uh, shout out to Hazard. Good video you put together. And uh, congrats on almost reaching 75K. Very nice. All right. So my thoughts regarding the naturalist role. As with everything, I always have to say this. If it's not officially confirmed by Rockstar, you have to take over a grain of salt. It, like many of you said, it may never actually happen. It could just be junk code or an idea that Rockstar scrapped and just simply took parts of and implemented it towards the collector role or the moonshiner role. But, you know, at the same time, it's still a very real possibility because in previous uh, updates, we have seen uh, data miners find uh, coding for future things that Rockstar would eventually add to the game, like Grand Theft Auto Online, as well as Red Dead Online. So it could go both ways. So it's a possibility that we may be eventually getting a naturalist role. However, I, like so many of you, feel like a naturalist role cannot stand or be successful alone. It could work in a hypothetical, say, Frontier Pursuits 2. Yeah, Electric Boogaloo, okay. <laughs> is that joke ever going to get tiresome? Probably not. But what I mean is it would not do as well by itself, similar to Moonshiners. Moonshiners was, was kind of received okay. I think it would have been better if it wasn't for all these issues that plague both the game as well as the Moonshiner role specifically, like production magically disappearing. Are you not uh, having your deliveries uh, be rewarded by money and uh, the role XP? But at the same time, maybe as a drip-fed role, so 
It could be a role they put in between updates. For example, with the Moonshiner role, it was all about the moonshining. But maybe in between the Moonshiner role and the next big update to uh, Red Dead Online, somewhere in the middle, maybe like late January, early February, there could be a you know drip-fed minor role like the Naturalist role that could be just somewhere in the middle. That would be something. It would give you something to do while you patiently wait for the next big role to be added to Red Dead Online or the next big roles. Because I don't feel like, once again, that this is a very big role and it's obviously a role that's not going to appeal to a lot of players in the game. I'm all about d different variety when it comes to the roles. But, yeah, I don't think that the Naturalist role would do very well if it just simply stood alone as its own quote-unquote update. But, you know, lapped in with uh, two other uh, roles or even as a drip role, it would be okay, I think. Now, some of my ideas about what I think the naturalist role could entail has already been mentioned by several of you and in other videos as well. The camera would probably play a key role in the role of the naturalist role, yeah. And look, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan of the camera in Red Dead Online. I would prefer if we had a version of the Rockstar Editor in Red Dead Online. Because that's what most of us do in Grand Theft Auto Online. If we want a screenshot, we just activate the you know Rockstar Editor. We record a little bit of video, then we go into the editor, and then we get a sweet screenshot. You know, either just to have or for a thumbnail or whatever. You can also use the Rockstar Editor for awesome machinimas. And I hope that eventually we do get a version of the Rockstar Editor for Red Dead Online. I know we have photo mode on PC as well as PS4 and coming to Xbox in a few weeks. But I don't think Photo Mode would work as well in an online game as it does in a story mode game. So maybe they would give us like an improved camera that's a little bit better than the standard camera that we could unlock and purchase along with the uh, Naturalist role. So what all would we be doing with the Naturalist role? As some of you have already looked it up on Google, the, the basic uh, definition of a Naturalist you know, is all about nature, right? Plants and animals and whatnot. I guess what you would be doing is maybe you would be sent out to take photos of various plants scattered throughout the map and herbs and animals. And it's just like some of you had already stated that, you know, that would be nice. But the problem is, what if there's no animals? Like, so far we haven't run across any animals. I guess you could take a, a nice photo of the Westeria right here. So... I guess this is hypothetically what we would do. Okay, so you would go here, pull out your trusty camera, as I, as I show you guys what this would be all about. The trusty camera, then you would take a photo of it. Yay. That's exciting. So, yeah, I really don't know how well the naturalist role would be received by itself. And as long as the animal spawn issue con continues to persist, I don't really think that it would be very well received, especially since... We don't have animals in a lot of the lobbies that have too many people in it. And you kind of need animals for the trader role. So Rockstar definitely needs to fix that and all the other issues. But I guess you could also tie in like photos of scenery or different locations across the map. Maybe you have to go take a really cool screenshot or a camera or a photo of uh, you know, like Pikes Basin or Mount Shan or Mount Hagen or some of the other like landmarks, uh, Indian burial grounds or the uh, Viking burial grounds. Uh, Owengila, Lake Owengila, or the uh, Lanahatchee, or the, the swamps down the bayou. So maybe there's different locations you have to travel to and take photos of. It's part of nature. I don't know if it would count like buildings and uh, towns. I think that would be more like an architecture type role. So I think naturalists would have to do more of like plants, animals, nature itself, uh, the scenery, various locations around the map like Gap Tooth. Uh, the Luis River, that would be one. I mean, and tall trees, of course. Lovely old, intimidating tall trees. So, I mean, maybe you could also do more collecting because if it's part of the collector role, then they'd want you to continue collecting, whether it's for Madame Nazar. Probably not for Madame Nazar, but she would probably give you like a contact. And I have an idea for that in a minute that we'll go over, tie it into story mode possibly. So I guess you would be tasked with going out and maybe collecting, you know, plants or, or seeds of plants and maybe like um, some uh, eggs. I know we all already have bird eggs, but maybe they add uh, turtle eggs or like alligator eggs. So they could do that as well. 
So maybe you, you go out collecting seeds and plants and eggs. And with the uh, roll itself, there would also be you know, rewards you would get that you would unlock through ranking up. And of course, you'd have to spend uh, gold on the said roll and money and tokens. So yeah, I would not see this as an expensive roll unless like Moonshiners, it comes with a property. Hopefully, unlike Moonshiners, a property we actually can consider to be a home. Yeah, Rockstar, that would be nice where we had our own bedroom, our wardrobe, lockbox, uh, along with a weapons locker, maybe even a fast travel map. That would be nice. I'm just saying, Rockstar. So at least there's animals now we could take photos of as the naturalist role. So some of the ideas I came up with, and by the way, shout out once again to Exploding Cupcake in uh, the community tab. That's something I didn't think about. I mean, that's something that, you know, an improved uh, picking of herbs where you or your horse could now pick uh, say two uh, Indian tobacco at a time instead of one. So that's a good idea. Some other ones I thought of would be like the, the obvious different tier naturalist clothing items, like a lower tier, mid tier, top tier naturalist clothing, uh, some sort of uh, upgrade to the satchel where you could probably carry even more herbs. So that would be good. And what about if we actually finally got satchels added courtesy of the naturalist role? Because at the moment, whenever you uh, pick something up, it goes into your quote-unquote magical, invisible, infinity satchel. And a lot of us have actually been wanting some of the satchel designs from uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even other designs as well. So maybe now Rockstar will finally add a physical form for the satchel. So you'll have several satchel designs to choose from for even further customization for our characters in the game. And it would stop looking awkward where you would finally actually be putting your stuff into something you could actually see, like a different various looks for the uh, satchel. So that's something that they could implement. Uh, some other basic stuff, you know, maybe another thing that they could do uh, centered around uh, the uh, plants and herbs is maybe eventually you unlock a map, right? The ability to know exactly where all the herbs and plants are. So like in, I believe it was Red Dead Redemption 1, you could actually buy herb maps that would tell you where specific herbs were. So that, that's something I could do in Red Dead Online. For the naturalist role, you like open the map and then you have the option to, like it'll show you like exactly where the nearest uh, wild carrots are, or mint, or oregano, creeping thyme, ginseng, etc. That way it would be easier for you to go collect said plants and herbs, especially for dailies. So that's an idea I came up with. Obviously, some other basic stuff that you would get, like a unique saddle to go with the naturalist roll, uh, like naturalist gloves, uh, a naturalist belt buckle, you know, like a gun belt, etc. And a horse for the naturalist roll because they, they're going to add new horse rolls to all the rolls. It seems like that's the way at the moment that they're putting out new horses is via the rolls. Once again, lower tier, mid tier, top tier. I wish Rockstar would stop doing that and just let us, you know, get the top tier horse and just pick which coat we want. That makes sense. So animal spawn issues are definitely a major problem for both the trader and a hap hypothetical uh, naturalist role. So they need to fix that, especially if it involves us going out and taking photos. And speaking of photos, a potential contact that we could have in the naturalist role is a character we're introduced to as a side quest in Red Dead Redemption 2 Stranger Missions, Arcadia for Amateurs, Albert Mason, amateur photographer. Maybe he's the contact that Madame Nazar you know, sends us off to, and he's the one who has us going out there, and I apologize for the honking. Yay. So anyways, like Madame Nazar could have him as the, the contact you go to. She says, hey, go meet this guy, Albert Mason. And uh, he'll set you up with a naturalist role. Or it could be somebody else entirely. Like what with uh, Crips introducing us to Maggie. Maybe there's some naturalist story missions we have to do as well. Or some free roam missions for the naturalist role. So that would be quite interesting. But I think the naturalist role, from the way we're looking at it, is not going to be a very exciting role. It's just a basic roaming around, either gathering uh, specific plants or seeds or eggs and, I guess, mailing them to Albert Mason or somebody else entirely. And it wouldn't work, like I mentioned a moment ago, it wouldn't work 
by itself. Unless it was a hypothetical drip-fed role, you know, set to keep us occupied and interested in between updates. So they put out the Moonshiner role, and in between this role and the spring update, if there's a spring update, they would just have a smaller minor role, just a little something to hold us over while we're patiently waiting for more roles and more content and maybe even heist to be added to Red Dead Online. It will not work by itself because, as most of you have pointed out in the uh, community tab, yeah, it's just it's something that I don't think a lot of people would be interested in. It's just a it's it's a fun laid back role you could just go do just for fun, enjoying nature. And not everybody's into it, but it, it it's okay to have different role types in the game, and I think I'm all in favor of that. But at the same time, I feel like you know there's more pressing matters with the game, as most of you pointed out, with fixing the bug issues, glitches, etc., that are plaguing the game. And it's not exactly at the top of everybody's list when it comes to hypothetical roles in Red Dead Online. So it would only work if you put it in an update with other roles. It would be a nice role to put together with, say, a lawman role or a minor role, an outlaw role, even an angler role or a you know hunter-trapper role. But by itself, it just... I just don't think it would work so well. And that, that's pretty much how I feel overall about the natural role. I like the idea of it, especially if Rockstar can implement it properly. But it, unless it's just a drip-fed role, it won't work if it's a standalone role, like the Moonshiner role, which it's kind of an okay role. Would be better if we didn't have the issues that went along with the Moonshiner role. So anyways, my thoughts, my views, my opinions about this hypothetical potential naturalist role, which may or may not actually be a thing. It may be the next role we get, or we may not see it for quite a while, or like some of you pointed out, it could simply be a role idea that Rockstar scrapped and recycled some of the ideas towards other roles, like the Moonshiner role and other future roles. So I want to know your honest opinion if you didn't get a chance to chime in. Feel free and let me know your honest views and opinions about the naturalist role, if you would like to have such a role added to Red Dead Online, or what is the role that you have been thinking about that you would be very excited to eventually have in the game, as well as opinions regarding the naturalist role and our future roles for Red Dead Online are most definitely welcome below in the comments section.